Touch, pull, stretch out. Intuitively, people navigate virtual objects on the multi-touch table of the Leibniz Institute für Wissensmedien in Tübingen. These corporal interactions fundamentally change how we communicate with computers because they influence how we process information and thus how we obtain knowledge. The multimodal interaction lab of Peter Gayetz researches how such manual interactions with a touchscreen have to be designed so that users can process information better. This kind of interface of computer use concepts that you use with multi-touch is relatively new. That is, in opposition to the dominant paradigm of keyboard and mouse, relatively little is known about what is happening there and what you can do with it. That is why we use basic research as inspiration for the things that are typical for those kind of interactions. I am using gestures. I may have big displays. I am touching the information directly with the finger. Whether the so-called near-hand effect is present in this action is the research of psychologist Birgit Blocker. The near-hand effect describes the effect in which visual spatial processing close to the hands is improved. That is, content which is presented visually and spatially is processed better if the learner or user has their hands on the content. First, such effects are researched without reference to content. For example, test persons have to work on exercises with forms and text. In doing so, one group has their hands directly at the screen. The control group has their hands further removed. The study shows learners can process visual spatial information better if they have their hands close to the screen. Data, statistics and correlations. Initially, basic research has little to do with high-tech products. Basic research in psychology often works with elementary stimuli, where you see green and red balls to which you have to react. As a first step, you have to repeat this with material that interests you, and to see then if there really are effects on the variables in question, for example, learning outcomes. In order to find out, test persons had to assign texts to pictures on the multi-touch table. One time, the hand had to grab and assign the objects directly the other time via a placeholder. In mehreren Studien hat sich jetzt gezeigt, dass Several studies have showed that the visual spatial processing really is better close to the hand, so it is important to present pictures on the multi-touch table close to the hand. The researchers of the Institute for Wissensmedien could translate the insights from the study on the near-hand effect to practical use in the iVisit project. Together with the Herzog Anton Ulrich Museum in Blaunschweig and IT specialists from the University of Tübingen, the researchers developed a visitor information table. The near-hand effect, of course, is only one part of the iVisit project which supports specific aspects. You can show this easily in such a frame model. On the one hand, we have here the path of understanding, so a cognitive path. Here the near-hand effect is relevant with regards to multimedia, to pictures. And at the same time I have a motivational path. Here it is especially the beginning, the attention, that can profit from near-hand. Since then, the multi-touch table is being used in 10 further locations in Germany. The iVisit project shows, application-oriented basic research like that on the near-hand effect is important in order to design products like the multi-touch table. The near-hand effect is just one element, though. There are many more parameters which influence our cognition and the acquisition of knowledge.